Hi everyone, this is Toyba from Toys Lab Creations. Today I'm going to be making a ripped top. This top is very easy. So for this project, I'm going to be using this DK rich yarn here and a 5.0 mm hook. So to start, I'm going to make a slip knot and then make a chain of 45. So go ahead and chain 45. I will join you when I'm sure it's fine. So I've made 45 chains. So to start our row one, I'm going to yarn over. I'll skip the first stitch and into the second stitch, I'll insert my, my hook, yarn over and pull through. I have three loops on my hook, like a half double crochet. But I'm not going to yarn over. I'm going to slip this first um, loop off through the remaining two. So that's a yarn over slip stitch. So let me repeat that again. Yarn over, insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull through. We have three loops on our hook. Then I'll slip this first one through the remaining two, like a slip stitch. So I just keep doing that across the row. That is a yarn over slip stitch. Stitch. That's the stitch you're going to use for this ripped top. So just keep doing that across its almost like a half double crochet just that we are not going to yarn over at this point i'm just going to pull through put the first loop through the remaining two so go ahead and complete the first row and i'll come back to show you how to do the next row so i'm through with the first row so for the second row, i'm going to chain one and turn i'm going to be working into the back loops only so yarn over and into the back loop. Yarn over and pull through. Remember, we do not, at this point, we don't yarn over. We just pull the first loop through the remaining two. So just keep doing that across the row, working in back loops only. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch. Yarn over. And pull the first loop through the remaining two. This is also known as the fisherman rib. So just keep doing this across row, and I will join you at the end of the row. So I'm through with row two. Moving on to row three, chain one and turn, and then we repeat row two, working in back loops only. I'm going to be making our yarn over slip stitch. So just continue repeating row two until I have a total of 96 rows. Remember on each row I have 44 stitches. So just keep doing your yarn over slip stitch on each row, working into back loops only. And I'll come I'll join you when I'm through with row 96. So I've made it to row 96. This is my last last row here. I forgot to leave a long tail please do we must leave a long tail so as to use it to sew up this top so i just use this needle to mark my last row so i know where my last row is so i'm using the right my first row to determine the right side this is my first row here so if i want to sew up this top now i'm just going to fold with the right side facing and then sew up the seam here but i'm not doing i'm not sewing the top up first i'm doing the straps first so for the straps i counted from this end i counted 14 stitches they marked the 15 and 16 15th and 16 stitch for the first strap here then i counted another 16 stitches this 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16. so i marked the next two after that then i counted another 20 stitches 2 4 6 8 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. And they marked another two after that. 
Then I counted another 16, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and then marked the next two. So I have another 14 at the end here, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. So that I've marked the point where I'm going to put my straps. So I counted 14 from this and marked the next two, counted under 16, marked the two after that, counted under 28, marked two, counted under 16, marked two, and I have 14 at this end here. So to start my strap now, I want this top to look as neat, to look neat as possible. So I'm going to make my, my straps to be eye cut. So to start, I'm going to remove this stitch marker, turn my cropped up to the wrong side, then put my hook into the first stitch, and then attach my yarn with a slip knot, pull through, and chain one to secure. So I'm going to go into that first stitch and make a slip stitch. I won't make it too tight. Make a slip stitch and go into the next one too and then make another slip stitch that's two so i'll chain one and then turn my work to the right side so i'm going to the first slip stitch here yarn over and pull through and then i'll go into the second one yarn over and pull through so these three loops on my hook will form the basis of my eye cord. So to start my eye cord now, I'm going to remove these two loops, put them in place, yarn over and pull through this first one, then go into the second loop, yarn over and pull through the first one, go into the third loop, yarn over and pull through the first one. So I have three loops on my hook again. So I'm just going to keep repeating that Remove these two, yarn over and pull through the first one. Then go into the second one, yarn over and pull through just one. Go into the third one, yarn over and pull through just one. So that's how I'm going to make my high cord until I make it to um, 15 inches, until my strap is 15 inches long. Let me do that one more time. Remove these two loops. Yarn over and pull through the first one. Go into the second one. Yarn over and pull through just one. Go into the third one. Yarn over and pull through just one. Let me do that one more time. Remove these two loops, one and two. Yarn over and pull through the first one. Go into the second loop. Yarn over and pull through just one. I'm going to the last loop. Yarn over and pull through just one. So just keep repeating that till you have 15 inches. And to finish it off, I'm just going to yarn over and pull through all. So I'll go ahead and finish all my straps. And then I'm through with the fourth strap. I'm going to come back to show you how to finish up this top. So I'm about to finish the last strap. So you just yarn over and pull through all three. Chain one to secure, and then cut my yarn. So I'm true with all four straps, as you can see. So this is the right side up. So the next thing is to sew up this top. So I'm going to fold with the right side facing. So this is the wrong side. So I'm going to sew up along this part here. So if you have your long chain just use i'm mean, your long tail you just use that to sew up but since i don't have so i've treated my yarn needle and i'm going to sew up at this point so i'll just go ahead and do that i'll sew this up and then even up my hand and i'll come back to show you what the final piece looks like so i finished sewing it up and i've weaved in all my hands this is what the final piece looks like this should fit a bust 34 to 36. If you would like to make it in smaller or bigger sizes, the, the written pattern is available in my Ravelry and Etsy store. 
I hope you enjoy watching this tutorial. Please, if you do, comment down below. I hope to see you in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.